The tropics are heating up in a big way. We now have Tropical Storm Sally, which is in the Gulf of Mexico, Paulette, which is going to impact Bermuda Sunday night and into Monday. Renee, which is just a tropical depression, another new tropical depression. And look at this. Two more areas off the coast of Africa to watch and one more in the Gulf of Mexico. But our focus today really turns to Sally. This is a tropical storm and it will continue to intensify over the next couple of days before landfall. Now we currently have tropical storm warnings along the coast for southern uh, Alabama as well as the western panhandle of Florida. We have hurricane warnings now through Biloxi, New Orleans, down through that little tip of southeastern Louisiana. And look at the track of this. I mean, it's heading north and west. It's going to be able to strengthen with not a lot of wind shear working against it. So it will become likely a hurricane sometime early tomorrow and then become a category two hurricane as it's nearing landfall. After then, it is slowing down near landfall, but once it gets steered up to the north and inland, it'll get picked up into a frontal system, curving it back to the north and east. So the moisture eventually turns back to the northeast. Now there's going to be a lot of threats with the storm. Yes, we always talk about the winds, but you know what? Storm surge and inland flooding, in my opinion, the two biggest threats. Storm surge, this area of southeastern Louisiana, incredibly vulnerable to storm surge, could potentially see in some spots above nine feet of storm surge. You notice the spaghetti models, though, taking this and curving it back to somewhere near northwestern Georgia. So the rainfall factor will increase our rain chances across north Georgia and the rain potential, in particular, Thursday through Thursday night. The highest rainfall totals will end up being right near the coast. Locally, those could be 10 inches or more, leading to inland flooding, not just in southern Alabama and lower Mississippi, but also all the way up in the Tennessee Valley as well.